One final one for the night. Cross your fingers for something good. Battle juice is a good sign. Memory brings good things. Candyland, shoots and ladders, memory game. <laughs> oh wow. So we have regressed. We've gone even younger from Donald Duck Advance back to Candyland and shoots and ladders. So let's see how these games translate to the Game Boy Advance. I have not played Candyland since I was maybe six years old. I don't know, maybe seven, somewhere in that range. Um, blue sounds good. And we'll go up against red. And we draw a card and we go to the blue square. What? Oh, okay, so it moves very, very slowly. Did not realize that it was moving when I was actually holding the button. It's very... Okay, so I got an L. I got it. You hold up to move forward, no matter which direction the um, thing is turning around to. And you hold back to move backwards, and you just have to go to whatever square the thing says. So there's second purple, and we're good. I don't remember at all how you can land on those special person spots, but we may see as we go through. Who can honestly say? to say this is candy land. I mean, this is <laughs> a basically identical experience you would get playing the actual board game. And we won off on the shortcut. Maybe we'll get a yellow. Ah, bastard. Hey, and we got the yellow. Alright. So Candyland is unique in that it has, well, not really unique, but it is known for its um, colorful characters whose names, none of which I remember. There's that licorice dude, some candy cane guy over on the right, lollipop fairy thing over there, and just all sorts of candy-related people. And they're all very well drawn and very colorful and such. Which I'm sure looks better on the actual board than it does here in what are we in Game Boy Advance's 32 bit, 16 bit, somewhere in that range. Then we instantly go to the Lollipop Fairy. So yeah, that is how we get to those special spots. And that can indeed totally ruin you by sending you very far back. And the goal is just to reach it to, you know, you know, make it to the end of the board. So let's just start using the speed button. Oh, really? All the way back. And I could save state, I guess. And what's all this? Stuck on licorice space. Well then. So I guess we're going to see the computer win the game, because we have no chance right now, really. Well, if they get thrown back far enough, maybe, but... <laughs> and they're like ten spaces from the start, so... Really, it's one of those anybody's game kind of games, because... It's completely random, there's no skill whatsoever. It's just draw a card, go to that spot. There's nothing you can do other than that. So this is why you don't see anybody over the age of six playing this game. 
because outside of it being colorful and easy to play, it's got nothing going for it. <laughs> and he loses a turn. We go to Princess Frostine. Interesting. I forget who it was that originally made Candyland. I'm pretty sure Hasbro purchased it at some point, but... I don't know, maybe they had it always. I do not own a Candyland board game anymore, so... I cannot go check. Basically, the only board games that survived my childhood were Monopoly and the original Life. I had a bunch of others, but, you know, cats. <laughs> they destroyed the cardboard boxes. And, ah, uh, we actually won. We made it to the Candy Castle. And that's Candyland. There is absolutely nothing else that can be said. So we move from random number generator the game to random number generator the game with things that can screw you over even further. Oh right, it's not even dice, it's a spinner. So for anybody who has been living in a rock since they were born, yes, in a rock, not under a rock, because I'm sure even the people under rocks would be aware. When you land on certain spots, you will be moved forward some number of spaces. And when, you know, there are always good things attached to those latter spots, land on other spaces and you will go down a chute, be returned to an earlier space, and there is always some negative aspect to those. It's, you know, a board game and teaching kids good and bad things. Apparently, I was really hoping to land on that ladder with the lawnmower kid because, you know, this is a game for like three to six year olds, maybe seven year olds, and they want the kid to mow the lawn at that age? <laughs> is that what they are saying? Come on, land on the lawnmower one. I want to confirm that. Mm, nope, not that time. Ah, move past it. Oh well, there is always the chance that it will, you know, be hit again because, like, if this is the same as the version I had when I was growing up, there is. Yeah, it certainly does look like it. There's a shoot from, like, either spot 98 or 99. It goes all the way back down to, like, spot 2. Yep, spot 9. Oh, no, no, that only goes a little ways down. Alright, so they did make it a bit less brutal for the kids. So, you know, nothing is quite like making it to spot 98 and then going all the way back. I guess that's pretty close. And now we're just going to be hitting the A button while holding down the speed button. Because shoots and ladders is the kind of game, given the random nature of it and nothing else whatsoever, it can go on forever. And, well, never mind. So that was shoots and ladders memory game. Yeah, it. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. Let's try a two-player game. Computer, play against yourself. We'll just see how the computer does. Not even really necessary to play this game because it's memory. I can't add, I, I can't LP memory. I, I, I can add no commentary that would reveal anything insightful or unknown about the game of memory. So let's just watch the computer for a little while. Let's watch the computer with the speed button held down, because otherwise this would take a ridiculously long time. 
There we go, player one wins. Hoorah! So, this has been Candyland, Shoots and Ladders, and the Memory Game. There are a lot of these, like a really surprising number of these on Game Boy Advance, which are anywhere from two to four board games on a single Game Boy Advance package. And some of them I'm really looking forward to because, you know, there's a lot of really good board games packaged into those. We just happened to get the one for the littlest of children's on our first board game poll. <laughs> so we will see more board game things eventually. That is all for now, though.